Now what happens if you suck it out? It's like when you blow a balloon, it will be big and big and big, and one day it will burst. So therapy is it's very important. I'm Kumbuli wa minister Oywani as Misel Wuti. Again let her know Iwani Gumfaz, gangs also yen a good tin. A geko was was the piska to go to slalet. Uh who said he was there when the picture was done and at first he said I signed the consent form. Okay. And I reminded him that still it was um, unlawful because there was a minor sentence. So. of the EFF, the officials of the EFF, Central Command team, and all structures of the EFF, and our ground forces, our fighters of the EFF. My name is Komisa Tembin Sane, a member of the Central Command team of the EFF, and also a member of parliament in the National Assembly. Today, we are here with Umamu Lindi, Mashangu Duplessis, who will be taking us through um, one of many cases that we have been broadcasting for this Women's Month. In order to get justice for what the government of South Africa has done to our women, especially black women, some as young as 15 years old, at a time when they needed the government's protection the most. Sis Lindy, how are you? I'm good in yourself, Sis Tembi. I'm very well. Uh, Sis Lindy, can you tell us, Usis Lindy Ubani, Usis Lindy Mashang Duplessis Umubani? Okay. Um, Usis Lindy, um, she's a woman who's been living with HIV for a long time. Usis Lindy, she's been um, on ARVs. Usis Lindy, she's been um, on the community helping women um, so that they can know their rights, so that they can know their stories. Usis Lindy has been fighting for other women, and uh, not only women as such, and for, for the community as well. And uh, teaching people to know their rights, making sure that everyone is access to treatment, making sure that everyone knows their rights as, as we are living in this cruel world. Yes. So, Sis Lindy, into a letter, Lana Nam Shanji. Ea Pata, Malinja, Ea Pata, Mayo. What Holanja, Nuguti, Gueshagali, see Messenger Gale Gwen? Um, okay. Two thousand and eight, I started ARVs, and by that time, I was ten years being HIV positive. Then um, on September 2008, when I, I started the ARVs, you know, my city for count was 20. And then it happened that when you take ARVs, because the city for count is low, all the diseases come back. Yes. Or actually, they are vulgar. And then it happened with the um, yeah, clinic, because there was easy in doing us to go home. A clinic is not It was 2009 by then, I think, no much. Then man figures Petlela and then the doctor uh, uh, did some test and then I, she said to me, he said to me I must come back. Ne? Okay. The later month, uh, I think it was April, when I went back and then he told me that I need to be removed womb because I'll be having a cancer in five years time. Okay. Then was we Angela Futuguti, I have two chronics now. Actually, he said, I can't have two chronics. One must die, meaning the cancer must die because with HIV, there's no cure. Only The cancer was already there? No, the cancer was not there, but he said, I can't live with two diseases. Okay. I think the way he was mentioning it would, in five years' time, he's having a cancer. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. All right. And then when he wanted to book me to the theater, only to find what my city for count was very low, so they can't took me to the theater. Then it took me two years to get this, the amount of CD4 county they, they want for me to be operated. And then in 2011, it happened that my CD4 count gone up at 201. Okay. 
then the theater was booked. But in that two years when I was doing the checkups because I, I, I was uh, scheduled every month to come and, and, and do the checkups and, uh, at the hospitals. There was a lady that I found there, a white lady doctor, who when, he read, when she read my file, she wanted to know why the doctor said I must be removed the, the womb. And then I explained to the lady that um, the doctor said uh, I will be having a cancer in five years time. And then she didn't say anything. And then even on the last day of, 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 of my operation, on the, on, the, on the day of my operation, when I went to the theater, the lady was there as well. She asked me that again, why should be your womb re be removed? And I was, that question, even today, it, 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 it says to me, the lady knew something, but she didn't want to say it because you remember in the hospitals, there's nurses, there's mm -hmm. doctors that are around there. Like there's no yeah. privacy. If maybe I was, I was in the room with her, she would have maybe uh, told me something. Advice, yes, advice. advice and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I went through the operation. It was hectic. And... When I was discharged on Sunday, because the, the, the operation took place on the, 11, uh, on the 10th of March 2001. And on Sunday I was discharged, four days after the, op after the operation. When I went home, it was hectic. I was sick. I even went to the doctor on Monday because I didn't know what was wrong with me. Like the torture in my children's. Yeah. Yeah, even today, So it happened. Geoguti, man, we are good doctor. Give a name, Bobes. You took on a lago operation. A one in a pezul, a one in a pants. It's a susingag. But Puma in Tongati, um dogo, or Nugayo. Yeah. And then, Mauza bemoos on lel. Mvog and Sally Pants and Tati Baget in Ilbegela. Yeah. Hey, Nakula, Nakula, twenty eleven, Nakula, and Mang Papa Mage, what all would go by the program, a a a a a intro to Zwayu, because me and Seventh of PWN, Positive Women's Network, go twenty eleven, give volunteer con. And then the late director Yami Prudence Mabelo was introduced to the Rights Initiative, which is an organization that is is doing research for women who has caused their lives and especially uh, positive women. Okay. Yes. And it was in Deben. Then when I get into Deben, uh, I was one of the uh, researchers. Ne? But when they were, Baspundis uh, and when we go out there, what are we going to look for? Yes. It happened that I realized that I am coerced myself. So what all Anjalo Uguti no man? Naming and Yes. 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 It, there's, there's, there's treatment for it. There are procedures that yes. we need to go through. There are so chemotherapy. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Lynn, do you tell us about the process of the program that you have for a Teguin? How big is the harm? How dire or how big? Is this crisis amongst African women, especially who are positive, who were sterilized without their knowledge, and some of them signed, they sign, in Tungwini in pain, not knowing exactly what they are signing. So, Natiman Hamba ni tola ama. Ama findings. Yes, some findings. But how big is this thing? Because I'm sure Abantaba ni bebanga zinabuguti. This is this is what has happened to me. Yes, system, it's 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 very shocking because most of these women were give were going to give birth. Yes. Uses pelle, upetwe ipain log zozal. Lipfungu li loto. Yes. Ipain log zal. And kulo mzuzu yonke intoma ipfungu uvelu kabangu kufa. 
So gulobo pshungulobo uti u upetwe lope in u doctor abese aksainise i consent form uti u yote. Yes. But maubu ya osana sbelet, you were not told. You understand? Mm -hmm. And even so, even uchelwa uguti uh, wena fanele maukata ukuzala la na ngoba upositif fanele ukipi spelet. Auna decision ozo itata okay. because lo pshu ngobzo ayu funu kukula gubo. And awazu uti emva kwa loko yino kuzo landen. Ufunu kukula gubo lo pshu ngobo. You understand? Uya kishu spelet, uya buya, uya shala, uchelwa next. Most of the women, that's what they found out. Mase ba fanele ba pinde ba tola ba nyabantuan. We are humble. We are good doctor. We are my check up when you are wasting money for status. You are wasting your, your, your time. Knowing very well what you are doing, but the chances of you getting a child was, was taken off from you. And at your most vulnerable, vulnerable moment, time. vulnerable situation, yes. because you are positive. The time when you were diagnosed, you were told that you are HF positive. What comes first in your mind when you were told to go to positive? You, I'm going to die. Yes. Then the second time, you were told to go to know when you need to keep his belly because of the cancer. HIV, cancer, you can learn to like. You understand? It's on HIV. Uzala, yes. This is all, Mama. You are meant to in Zalaban. You are supposed to increase the population. So, Sis Lindy, Ugoz and Figabule process here, CGE. Ni, 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 Figaranja and Uguze Yaziwe and Ibe under investigation. Okay, um, after, after, well, these 48 women were, were the stories were collected, ne? We went to, uh, there was a illegal aid uh, uh, lawyers yeah. that we were working with. It was from Cape Town, mm -hmm. Sayaguyo, and then they approached ECGE okay. because the, the, the report should be combined. And then Babone, the outcomes would be, yes, really, this was, was the real thing that mm -hmm. happened to women. Mm -hmm. And then we end up with CGE. When we went to EE Department of Health, so we so, 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 so approach with our stories, they said, it's the hearsays. They need proof. The indexed uh, uh, research was done again in 2014. 490 women was found that they were co-sterilized and positive. Ankumbuli kwa minister oywani as misel uguti. Again, let her know oywani kumfaze. Gengi zozwa yena ugututin. Ageko wazi piska tukutasilalele. What are they talking about? Knowing very well, good after five years born, they have procedures in my hospitals to say after five years, ama ama lokanja ama ama files are destroyed. Basho ganja. So uma azoti i ikala liaf after three years. Our scars are not dead. Our HIV are not dead. We are still here. We are the proof. Auzali guman. Angzali guman. Angina ndota guman. Angfuni mishato guman because what what was the what is the reason yami yogo ting jabule numshato as ngezonda ne invitation numshato ne because first of all we we are tabanga guti loya muntu la payana uyo ba happy we na ma inga chuo anje we are niwa ge loya chance yogo tina indota ifunu gushato manje once indota ya cholo guta unas belet we are a half of a woman. Considering the society that we still live exactly. in, the, the patriarchal society that we still live in, our job as a woman, so when what uh, are you bringing? Exactly, when uh, 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 all those hatreds, we are living with that every day. You understand? Yeah. We are. We, we, yes, it's, the, trauma. it's a trauma. For, and for and on top of the trauma that we are living in, the, the, the pains in our bodies. Sisala sikula, sisala sisa ipelela, sisala sisema clinic because we want to find ourselves healthy. Napa utupetu in Kinga Yetolo, Nyawazonda, and my queue because I can't stand for almost an hour. Good queue. The, the, the Angazi and ANZ were M's in Benoam. We understand a young girl on the So there's so many things we have uh, 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 unsolved issues. Because of Kala, U government, Lama, 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 Lama decision, our tata, we don't know who to be eliminator. I, 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 Abantu Utbanga Zaliga Kulu because we are positive. Bega yeah. eliminator in the Bayoguti Gunga Salo, Abantuana Aba HIV positive. Okay, that was done. What is going to happen now? Because Manjasi now, I'm a PMTCT. Okay. Abafazi, but Taba ARVs, they can give healthy babies. No, no, no. So, decision, yeah. 
It was not their decision. Exactly. <coughs> to give birth to a child who is HIV positive. It's my decision as a human being. And the system, yes, and the system, those doctors were men. Women are killed by men. We are giving birth by Zaliswa and my daughter. And Lavanta Batasama decision in my parliament, a matot. Bona Lava Bati eat or is it as 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 Nasindo, a matot. Tell me, Sis Lindy, it process manch. Say how far since Nakalang or twenty eleven, Guzik figure Nam Sanji. Say how far it process Yen, Nale CGE, Nale Department of Health, Gukonok Zuarala, Guzim Shambe. There will be justice eventually. I don't think we could have to bust us as a system because um minister we who's with him kids. Okay to go to a who sorry who got a delay in reply yet to since it's a faga in report is it is a faga in reporting go go February. Who sorry who got a delay in who's reply because of COVID-19. Why other things are not being delayed with COVID-19? Only the 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 crisis is about us, about sterilize. Why on? Exactly. 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 During COVID-19, so it delay COVID-19 is really not uh, an excuse because more bigger food is slindi. Um, tetolo we we alcohol. We are shinjo go manch. Because three men were killed we on a Sunday. Today, the Minister of Transport is going to change their whole institutions. Because... Do you think the so it really feels that the justice system is failing us as women, which we all know that it has been failing us. GBV, now this is cutting your generation, meaning when I get to because maybe what was yes, maybe I was going to be six or by seven or by nine. Maybe I was going to be a grandmother of, of 118 kids. We understand the part because of what was done to me. Finally, man, change and change. I'm about to be a grandmother. I'm going 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 to be a Masizala neni sandi. So tinage, yonke lontele, sikutwe, ama lika right way to a baipi. Esa nigo unkulunkun. Oengzalwe nalo, because being a woman, you are expected to give birth. So how am I going to give birth? So, so sis nindi, ngogu ibona kwa kolento, what is the best solution? What would you consider to be justice, not for you, but for all the women that were sterilized without their right because it doesn't matter whether i signed a form i was not in my right state of mind I was for not. me to sign that form and you as a doctor you were supposed to be looking after me but you forced me to do something that will cause damage for the rest of my life what would you consider this would be the justice that we need and sizoba happy it doesn't matter what would have happened because i guess that was book but this justice in the sense of Yes, to consider our life, so many things was taken from us. No amount of money will bring that pain away. But today I'm going to say that money as if we go to government as compensated, maybe it will give us happiness. First of all, as was as affordable doctor by expensive lenta bus niggas on a clinic or my treatment doesn't make any difference in our pains. Maybe if a government and us compensate, Sizo was good is afforded my gynecologist. Sizo was good to see pile a healthy life. Nala ma HIV way to Angi and Dow because Batati Belletto Bawashi. If you can be Batata on a Bashi Belletto, it was something that was a better option. Why didn't they have that? Don't try to find a cure. Exactly. So, O government, Aga 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 Bone Uguti. Say totally mal. Eh, enough. And that's good things of funny. And I'm not gonna die soon. So funny look government as compensate. We mal as is what he. Um, if you go 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 to gynecologist, no man abu busy malenga. And you know you afford. Even if you go 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 to okay now, 
Nyakula manja need to go and sleep go private hospitals. Because in a trauma a public hospital. In a trauma nganzo a public hospital. Yes. So who government must compensate to our to 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 to, to our, our ability of our pains. We are in a serious pain. Nama counseling system is our thing. Nama psychologist is our thing because in Jomba Nishong it's season. The Misha to season the in. Those people have done nothing to us, but the situation makes us to hate whatever. Yes, those those things. Abanda pas achieve our employment because you know that I'm not gonna achieve anything. I'm not gonna get married because even if nga figin dote ne malenga ganan uzoti the day uta to which elu ta unas bele to your ham. We understand. So the government should make sure Uguti, he compensates us to our demands. It's a demand that into Enkuluga system because go manage. We are talking about Mark Fanelo. We are fully line in the press belt. We are figuring the payano system. One, one issue here, Kenjo Ongayas, and then Agnigel, he painkiller. Let's just cut Udinga. He antibiotic. Yes, I'm not giving up. And let's just cut Udinga. Into antibiotic because lente yenzo wela we you don't know it. And this is a ongoing treatment. Who all are all my 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 the one for e u kishwa is belly to corner lengans and so kishwa ama ama lokanj ama 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 chups one was was having cyst because of what their operation I and Zuango 2011 as I'm a sitch elo next to Savile Sakicho Salakas or got Kalaka Fanele Bastel or would finally see Benama ama ama poster for ama ama lokanj way to ama feelings way to as Bessing I was going to look versus or was a laptina say pillar lunge over Velim Shaune Pain. I was not going to win. I was. So, what are you preventing when you don't know what has been done? Hence, I'm saying, O government Agaspatal, Siso was good to see Hambela Maka and ecologist are expensive. She was who's taller, see Hamba, my psychologist, as a sense into a writer. I love Mutas of Boos Guti, Manjo and Nukaban Guti, Jobune Pain, Zoen Sanjan, Funut psychologist, as a bona Uguti, learn to O government irons like it is a torture system, it's a Sometimes I can't even tell them because once in Kalan, it won't get Babuya Gimbati. Mama, are you okay? Mama, what can we do? Nabantona Bam, Nabantona Bam, they are affected by this process. Bafuna Nabongo Wabo, Bazo Hamba Lao, Mama Psychologist, so that they can be prepared and they can be prepared for their own future, so that Nabo, but all this. So, the government, Magaspatala, it's not only for us, it's for only our, our families. And your well being. Yes, and my well being comes first. And your well being. And the city, let's cut this pain. And buyers, they've been aware. So they are aware. And Mina, I, I just want to say something. Yeah. If Bafuna approve, I'm going to say this for the second time now. If Bafuna approve, I bet the Bazon Faga will scan Babon Wooting Nasses, Belletong now, my troops. Your bodies. And Amar Amariza Swamwe HIV are always in my file, a corner. Nama Piliswam in Kalangwa Petting Zobaniga and in the IT number Yaming Zobaniga Balshire, good Babon Wood, Nikona Gurol, Yama ARVs. Your bodies. A crime scene. Yes. If they want evidence and proof, it's they our can bodies. Investigate within your bodies. Exactly. They are the crime scene. Footy. So, oh. Lindy, who say, who say, it, is it still happening that uh, these things are ongoing? As a second, I'm a new cases. Yeah, a second. Yeah, a second. Yeah, a second. Because Kona Bantabe and Zoman Chamber 2017, 2018. Yes. And, and and some of the things when a system these doctors are taking ama 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 vulnerable situation with vulnerable people because those women a city no must interview Otol Guti she is not in a good state of mind, she's living with disability. And then village or kitchen is belet. Go corner about to away. Naso na bantona by five. Just go and what if you funu go find is belet to some normal being na bantona by thirteen. We understand. So I don't know whoever that took that decision. They know that what they are doing. As kulo menga labo doctor sis Lindi. Um, for me, if I was in your situation, I wouldn't want umuntu onjalo to still be practicing in that field. <laughs> so, 
I don't know doctor because now they are they are part and parcel wherever they got that instruction to do what they are doing to our black women's bodies. What must happen to them? Because they are future generations and you can't. Yes, system. There was uh, this interview. You no, know, there was a, a U, UN woman yes. who was talking and asked the very same question on Boza Yonuguti, Labo Doctor, Bafanele Benzwen. Yes, Lua Mama, the way young Pendulanga corner, I was like, Yo, Minamanga Tua and Yabuza Lombuzo Natin Vel. Because Nyempela, I mean, no massing Asha system, who government and Nega Funen no good. Si born in Leon Tesabians, you were Gibo, Joba Banga Fun in Ugutti Nati was born. We understand. Because I would love Ugutti by a no matter who to my practices, number one, no more bands one. I don't care because Nami, if violation ends, you are giving no one is going to bring it back to me. No one. And I'm talking about it pain as a system be the way Gine anger. Gine anger. Gine anger and and yabona na na tuak begu tal tam kize la na or u babu ramaposa la agang boni uguti kashega shiyi ni le nzo mfisu bona bona kashega. Saba logo ang egan boni ngobu saba logo. No, fanela ngaksabi because the babu doctor when when they decided uguti ti na sikitri ibeleto they never thought on the long and the hard decisions why manje fanela but reggae they are dragging. It's 12 years now. Situation. Okay. Me nang tala gu tabo tok tabo onke labo. To cut this matter short. Bonke labo tok tabo. Aba kwa oshwe. Ba ba kutu ma practices wabo. Ma practices number wabo. Ba ba kinshwe vel. Eh pelele. Because there's so many things. Es funu gu zbona zenza ka pat. Definitely sure. I know the government is not is not gonna do that. Because actually, why ni ne anger? Sunday. Three men were killed, but everything is gonna be changed now. But these 12 years, nothing has been done. 48 women, I'm a violation. And there's other reports. There's other reports from 2014. 409 women so were sterilized. Our lives mean nothing to this government. As a black woman in South Africa, you amount to nothing. Absolutely yes, nothing. yes. You don't exist. That nothing is gonna be changed. You don't nothing. Exist. But my wish is it's for the government to compensate us because we have a lot that we are dealing with and we are still going to deal with. Our families are affected. Our lives are affected. I am affected. I am in pain and I am angry. I am it's angry. A for the rest of it's life. a scar for the re when whenever I am naked when I see that sea. In my body, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm just being somebody yes, else in that moment. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sis Lindy, and uh, thank you very much for everything that you have done for black women in your situation. And some are even worse because they were very young. At the age very of young, 15, very young. First time giving birth. And then you come back, you can never, ever, ever have another child. That affects you as a woman. And in Busho, that's the stress, the trauma that you have to go through every day of your life. And this government is just turning a blind eye to everything. It's as if nothing has happened. Till today, we are waiting for a report from the Department of Health. And they are telling you they need evidence, whereas they can use your body, which is a crime scene, to investigate and find the facts. So, Cindy, <coughs> as the EFF, we are with you, and we will run this journey with you until the end. And in future, also prevent what has happened to you from happening to other women. Other women. You know, Tim, you, you touched or we touched on women who were falsely sterilized. Yes. And as in the African community, if you don't get children, oh. you know, we are being ostracized. Yeah. People don't regard you as a woman. And there are those words that they use, yeah. you know, from we all the language, okay. just we knew bar, and you can't get children. And now they are facing that every day. You know, and at times it's at a workplace that uh, people ask you how many kids you have. You know, 
and then you are even they're afraid having a to baby shower. Yes, they're having a baby shower, you are being invited. So that also, you know, evokes memories of a traumatic situation. So the police need to be trained. I know and I've been part of those who trained police. Yes. But I can tell you I remember we did only a three hour training and that was it. Yep. And we will be told that uh, the there'll be 20, uh, 25 policemen being trained. The next thing, the hall is full of 100 police to be trained. And remember, when you're giving them the basic counseling skills, it's something, it, it's a skill. These people need to, to practice the skills. They need to be trained. But you stand there and say, oh, like I... the interview that we're doing, and then they'll come out and say 100 police were trained. But at the beginning, they said, no, it will be 2020 or 25, 25. They must take the training very seriously. You know, it shouldn't be the, the two hour training. It should be like, as we know, a week, a month training. And place social workers and psychologists in, in, in police stations, you know. I know that uh, there are very few psych black psychologists we, we've got lots of social workers, but at least they can use the auxiliary social workers that have been trained and the social worker to be there and to train the police as well. And maybe an incentive can help, but that depends on the human resource and yeah. the finances that they, they have. In churches, most of the churches, and I've experienced it, where you start saying, now this is Women's Month, then somebody starts a song. <laughs> to stop you from talking about yeah. violence. And you look at that person, you can see what you yeah, go dala e shawa ye na self. Kutrajwa ye na, you know. So let's accept that yeah. it is happening and let's not push it under the carpet, you know. Mm -hmm. the, the courts, I've also experienced it several times where you go to court ilain ainde, you know. If you are a working woman, even if you are not working, you've left your kids at home, when the line is but tinyoga, you know, yeah. it's like a snake turning a corner in and you, you have to come and tell your story. And the attitude of the clerks there, yeah. you can see what they, they, they behave as though Bona, they are not being abused, you know, because it's like that uh, calling you all these abused women here, you know, and it's embarrassing for, for, for some of the people, it's like a shame. You can't go to court because everybody, it's not private, you know. The magistrates are not trained. And I've also had that experience of hearing a magistrate gossiping with a, a clerk about these women are like this and this and that. And they think, no, you won't do anything. Even when you are a professional woman, as professional women, yeah. we are also very abused. And you don't want to go there and be exposed and being humiliated, then you end up not even you going and not talking about it. Now, what happens if you suck it up? It's like when you blow a balloon, it will be big and big and big, and one day it will burst. So, therapy is it's very important. You know, even if it can be visual or telephonic, let the government afford all these women you know, some kind of therapy. And privacy. And privacy is very important as well. Today I am having a conversation with Bongegile Msibi, who is one of the women that has endured the pain that this government has put her through. Sis Bongegile, how are you? Sis Bongegile, tell us about Uban Bong Msibi. Who is Bongi Msi and why today are you here? Why are you sitting here today? So it all started 2005. I gave birth at Barakonath Hospital on okay. 26 December. Um, I was then later discharged and I went home. Everything was normal, everything was okay. I got home and Uma introduced me to Ama contraceptives. Yes. Um, so that I don't fall pregnant again, you know, I was an evangelist. Yes, yes. So I took those contraceptives for 11 years, and play 11 years later, like, I did not see my period, and I did not get worried because 
from the beginning, I'm not going to never regular. Yes. So I just assumed that it's a side effect, um, Zama contraceptive, mm -hmm. and also I knew that um, I was never regular on film. Mm -hmm. After 11 years, I met a man, we got engaged, and um, when I was trying to conceive without um, being successful, I then went to a doctor just thinking, well, see, it's an infertility issue, the doctor yes. will give me just treatment and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be able to conceive. That's when I learned that I didn't have a uterus. I go. So, 11 years later, you discover. So, how old were you when you went to have the baby? I was 17 years old. You were 17. And then you discover, we'll see how they've already taken out your womb. And your mom, did she know about it? So my mom was not aware because I remember um, on the 20th of December, I wrote when I realized that the, 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 the mess was just so much and I, needed, I felt that I needed to do something. I wrote to the minister that was oh, Dr. Alan Mutualeli at that time. Yes. On the 20th of December 2016, 2017 January, Bang Pendula, they phoned me and they told me to go back to where the incident happened, which is Baragwanath, because it's not a national hospital, it's a provincial hospital. Yes. I went there, I lodged a complaint within the quality department, and I also um, had a meeting with a senior gynecologist by the name of Dr. William Edridge, uh, who said he was there when the procedure was done. And at first he said I signed the consent form. Okay. And I reminded him that still it was um, unlawful because I was a minor 17. All right. He so, um, Minister Aaron sent you back to a bar. Yes. And then there you got the relevant people yes. that say they were part yes. of this process. Uh, Dr. Mani? William Edridge. Okay. Um, I then confirmed with him that I was a minor, so still it was illegal. Yes. And then he later said, oh no, um, he remembers my mom did sign the consent form, they did tell my mom. Okay. On a follow-up meeting that I had with Dr. Edrich, my mom was present, and my mom confirmed that she knew nothing about me being illegally sterilized, and she did not sign any consent form. Okay. Dr. Edrich um, insisted that they did that to save my life. Uh, and um, I was grateful that they were saving my life but I said to him for me um, to walk out of this place um, satisfied I would like to see the medical records that prove that you were indeed saving my life that's when he told me that my records um, were destroyed they don't exist okay firstly Dr. Edrich is saying that you signed a consent form and then later changes that your guardian signed the consent form and then later no we were saving your life did you ever try to find out was he if you were saving my life shouldn't i then be told immediately after the procedure was he when you were dying and this is how we tried to save your life doctors edric did I, dr edric exaggerate was that i need to be grateful they were saving my life you need to be grateful i need to be grateful they were saving my okay. life okay and he said the only thing they can do for me he can write a referral letter to steve Rico for me to get a surrogate at that time in that meeting now that was like the last meeting that i had with him the, it, it was um dr edric Dr. Jibat and Metron Ram Ramola or Ramela, something like that, I can't yes, remember. Yes. Who was possibly the nurse in the ward at that time when I was giving when birth. Getting this procedure. Yes. Um, so he said I need to be grateful because I said, if you're saving my life, I am grateful. I even I remember saying to him, if you are saving my life, I need to meet the doctor that made that call to remove my uterus to save my life because my daughter would have grown up to be an orphan. And further not inform, inform me. And when I said to him, I understand you're saying um, it was an urgent procedure that you need to perform, but when you're done, you did not inform me. Exactly. You exactly. let me go without saying anything to me. So this is basically, Bongi, the start of your journey now in trying to access justice. Yes. You went to Barra. Yes. They told you the best they can do is give you a letter to get you a surrogate. Yes. Not to rectify what no. they've done, no. but 
to get you a surrogate. And we, we both know what surrogate is, but did they ever try to explain to you what does it mean to even get that surrogate and how it would affect your life, even that surrogate? Dr. Andrews did not lay down all the options that I had. He just enforced a second-hand solution again. He just said that's all they can do and I need to be grateful. Okay, so what, what other steps did you try to take in, in accessing this justice system? Because I am sure it, you, all women in South Africa, for us to get justice, you have to find tooth and nail. So what other steps did you take after the surrogacy recommendation um, after the third meeting that I had with Dr. Edridge I could tell that there was no way forward yeah. I was not going to get help yeah. so I wrote to the HPCSA and I wrote to the ombuds, uh, ombudsman I wrote to Department of Women Office of the President Human Rights Commission um, Public Protector wow. what year was this? Uh, that was 2017 the Public Protector Oh, but I can't remember his surname. Um, said they were investigating the matter will come back to me. I remember I even called So they early. responded. The yes. public protector I have a letter. responded. I have a letter from them. Um, Office of the President, they allocated me some person to call or email. The number never goes through. Okay. So it was a... This is just 2017. Eight. This is 2017. Yeah. Human Rights Commission did not respond. Um, Department of Women did not respond. Health Ombuds, they said um, my case is prescribed it's over two years, so I think they've got a way of doing things. They only take matters that um, are not older than two years. Even though you mentioned that you only discovered 11 years later, yes. they tell you that it's already expired yes. because it happened two years. Yes. Okay. From there, I then went to I forced my way to the office of the NEC. Um, I remember the personal assistant, Vivian. Yeah. Vivian said to me, because I'm involved um, attendance, they can't assist me. And I said to him, but I'm not getting help still. It's, it's been this long. I yes. want to speak to the NEC. I believe that the NEC is in that office to look after our needs. So I have a complaint exactly. that has to be addressed with her. Yes. So um, I had to force my way. But eventually, I, were, I met with, I met with um, Dr. Gwen Ramahoba, okay. with um, a number of other um, officials within the, the department. department. And one of the doctors that was representing Bara said, my records don't exist. They so they found the platform for you, you know, yes. to voice? Yes, okay. there was a platform. All right. um, he said, my records were destroyed. I can't remember when. I, I have that, actually, in, okay. in, in, in recording. And um, then Dr. Gwen said um, my matter should go to mediation because there are no documents. And furthermore, he asked me if I had um, any um, short-term intervention that I would like from her. I did, um, such as social services, um, transportation for some of the people in my support group that needed that. Okay, so in your case, uh, Bongi, they gave you the platform, they sat around all these officials, all these doctors, advisors, and they told you that there's nothing that can be done. The best they can do for you is mediation because documents have been destroyed. So doctors did not see it in themselves to investigate your body where this crime happened. All they are relying on is documents which they themselves have destroyed and they want to take you through mediation. Did that ever happen? Um, Dr. William Edridge ran some scan. He was very cold. I remember I was lying on the bed there and he said, oh, there's a uterus, you have a uterus. And I jumped, um, I jumped and thinking, oh my goodness, the previous doctor might have made a, might have made a mistake. And he said to me, oh, sorry, it's just a bowel moving. Wow. I remember on that day, I can tell you the outfits that I wore. I remember walking out feeling defeated. I had my shoes um, with my hand crying. And one of the doctors, I can't remember, um, said, because I was wearing um, pencil heels, I was on my way to work. He said, oh, I didn't realize that uh, we have a new doctor. 
when I walked in referring to me because I think it's because I think he was trying to make a joke because yeah, of how I was dressed. Mm-hmm. I was not dressed like a normal patient yeah. that would expect, you know. And then that's when Dr. Edward suggested that they can only um, uh, uh, give me surrogates. That's the only thing they can do for Did me. Did the mediation ever happen? The mediation happened um, this year. And um, I'd like to mention that a state attorney by the name of Loiso Mashlangu yes. saw it fit to disrespect me. I was meant to be at work. I had to come for a mediation and only to tell me that they are not willing to take accountability because documents are not there. So no investigation was done. Um, Loiso had never called me to find to get side of my story what yes. happened. Loiso did not investigate the doctor, yes. but he just saw fit for him to tell me that they can't take accountability because documents don't exist, as if those documents, I lost them. In addition to that, Dr. Bandile Masu took away all the social services that were already in progress, such as um, social, um, psychological support and um, social services. He said he was not obligated, I have that in writing, he was not obligated. Um, to do to offer that as uh, such services. So instead of getting you justice, um, the Department of Health, with its ministry, decided to withdraw that. What that that um, social services? It's, it's not even a social service. I want to call it that baby thing. You keep them quiet with, you know. It it was a silencer for you. They. The social services, the, that little support that they were giving was just so that it drags time for them to silence you because you were coming too aggressive. So you never got response from the public protector. You never got response from human rights. Instead of getting assistance from the Department of Health, you get dragged again by a new, minister, by a new MEC now. Has the Minister Aaron Mutsuliti ever responded after you told him that I'm not getting assistance? No. So no one has ever intervened? No, nobody has ever intervened, but I think Bandile, Dr. Bandile Masubi made it a point that I was frustrated because um, at some point, they, this was this year, they sent me a letter saying I need to stop mentioning Dr. William Edridge's name because um, I'm tarnishing his name and my question to them was that did you do it would make sense to me if you did an investigation and it was proven that he was not innocent. guilty yes. he's innocent yes. then you are coming to me threatening me but you have not done your job and okay. you expect me to keep quiet Bongi, these people, they knew. A whole MEC knew the person who is being accused of violating you, violating your body, committing a crime in your body. And they still have the guts to write you a letter to protect him from you voicing out when you are the one that has been violated, you are accusing him of committing a crime in your body which has affected your whole life. Don't you think they should have been the ones that rightfully open a case against the accused? What I've noticed is that there's a precedent that um, they are above the law. Dr. Edridge himself was given opportunities, number of opportunities to defend his name. Some of the media houses wrote to him, Dr. Edridge is just here at Vets University. Yes. So it's not a person that is under the ground. They know where they are. But to them, it's a norm. It's been happening. Um, it has been happening and will continue happening. As very senior official said to me, since we are claiming that legal sterilization has not only affected you, there are other people, why don't you go and go and state your sitting at the national office? 
that is someone that is very high that occupies a very high position that speaks like that so to them it's a no it's been happening there's nothing special so you don't deserve no. to be heard you don't no. deserve any platform no instead the person that's been accused of committing this crime to your body must be glorified must never be mentioned yes. they will keep him in his job yes. and and that he can show his name must just disappear from your head because it, it's been happening so if they're saying oh it's okay you can continue um, being our glorified Doctor. doctor it's okay so that's what i was asking them that are you hiring doctors are you hiring glorified killers because what these people are doing they're killing us instead of them uh protecting us and this is a very same doctor that we enrich in daily with our tax money exactly. and they seem to be enjoying it but they're not doing what they are obligated to do and how many more how many more women have to go through this pain for them to realize that this is a crime i was saying to them what probed me to stand up and voice out my frustration was that I don't want my daughter to go through the same route yeah. that I am going through this is not for me it was done to me nothing can be reversed and no amount of money would bring back uh, my uterus but yes I do want to be compensated I'm not apologetic about that but now it shouldn't only end there on compensation they should find a root cause and stop this because it's so you told happening. them that you I told did. them that you want justice I did. compensation I is compensation yes. for what they yes. put you through yes. but you want justice and, and do and you ever get a response and honestly things need to change it's 2020 we still have our registration done manually i mean there's no communication none whatsoever i have women in my support group that were not told that um they were told after hours this the the procedure has been performed to them so to them it's it's okay it's a norm and they don't see the need to inform us what they're going to do on our bodies when we're lying there and we are desperate for their help they play god yeah yeah and even afterwards let's and say even they after they, they, they are untouchable they still, they still don't feel, feel they still they feel they untouchable they still feel that they are entitled to do whatever that they so did. what is the what is the one thing bongi that would make you extremely satisfied that i have run this journey and i have saved my daughter from this as we were speaking on the other side first of all the department has zero communication strategy they do not communicate at all and secondly they are they are, they are doctors they feel entitled to do whatever that they want to do so rights are violated left right and center and what i would like to see happening is to is to see dr edrich being investigated i know for a fact that he lied to me because he didn't have his facts straight so i know that he was sent to do damage control and it means dr edrich is good at lying because so it's not the first time. no because he was so confident and why would they just pick him out of all the doctors it means he's very trusted with um, so he's the one that he cleans is, up he's the one that cleans up the mess yeah. so i want him investigated first of all for lying to me and secondly it means there is someone that he's protecting so that one was also that found yes and to show that they are doing this um behind the scenes my attorney is been requesting my hospital number and he was told that it's not on their system I went there 2 weeks ago on my own to the to 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 the admin to the admins I I'm at Kai's office and I got my my hospital number and to show that 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 um information does get fabricated So Dr. Edrich told you that your hospital number is gone nothing of mine exist. that exists the All nothing right? of mine and you exists. found it and I So found how many it. more cases exactly how many more cases do they declare as being destroyed or lost when they are there because you as yourself you went there and you found it and the second um i went i was there 2005 and i went back there 2017 the second page that i got from there was saying i was there 2008 which is a lie so information is being yes. fabricated um one of my um one of the ladies in my support group Katle Hompian her file was fabricated spindless file was fabricated so this is a norm you are saying that um it was not a true reflection no. of events no it was so not to a point that you found a document within your file yes. that is untrue. that has no information that you know about um what's this doctor 
um, I forgot his name. He lied and he said to me, they took me uh, uh, the whole process to a point that I even got um, uh, a psychological support, which is a lie. What, what, what Did they, they mention do? that uh, psychological doctor? No, I don't. I, I, they just I don't said know. you got psychological. Yes, from where, when, I know, I don't know. Dr. G. Bart, on the last meeting that we had, Dr. G. Bart said to me the first thing in the morning that she was going to do was going to connect me with my nearest clinic to organize, the, um, to facilitate that I get psychological help. I think it's still at night. It hasn't been the morning since 2017. And, and you get such treatment from, from a woman. Someone that needs to understand the importance of having a uterus and someone that knows how important it is and how vital it is, the role that a uterus, a uterus plays in a, in a woman because yeah. it's not just a uterus that's been removed, the after effects. And, and the fact that you didn't know Bongi is a it, 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 it was a trauma. It, 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 that you didn't know it was a wrong. trauma to me. It was a trauma to me. And you make life commitments based on knowing, you being a woman. And, and, and as an African woman, I can't bear children. So, um, I mean, complete. Uh, I don't feel like a woman. I mean, it's a, it's a big thing in, a, in, in, in our community. Um, if, if, if as a woman, you cannot have kids. And now, if I meet someone, I sort of have to declare and that gives the next person power to either accept me as I am or to reject so me. So that's that. So my life is between. my life has been minimized to to that extent. And the someone that still says we are pulling a stunt. Who said that? Um, I was speaking to the CGE uh, chairperson, yeah. Me Tamara, yeah. and she told me that Me and Jimutecha said. Um, all the allegations that they have about illegal sterilization, they are just pulling a stunt to drag ANC's name. And so those are people Benjamin that they vote is for. saying that uh, women that have been forced or coerced into sterilization are pulling a stunt. Yeah, we're pulling a stunt. The aim is to drag um, the ANC's name down to the drain. Mm -hmm. And these are very, the very same people that benefit from so our tests. So it tests. makes it clear to you, Monkey, that you would never get justice. It's pretty much clear. Because it looks like it a pretty, syndicate, it's, the doctors it's, it's, are in it, the politicians are in it, yes. the same people that are supposed to protect you are in it. And the question is, what are they benefiting from all these legal sterilization that Even is happening? The woman that you work with now, you are getting to see that this thing is never going to come to the it's end. It's not going to end. On the 17th of August, I received a case from Free State, a woman that was forced to be sterilized. And this is where I say um, we need to empower the community. We need to empower people. They need to know exactly. their rights. They need to know what can and cannot be done to them. They need to be able to, dis to distinguish when um, a health practitioner is helping them and, and when and when they are them. abusing yes. their powers because I don't understand why is illegal sterilization not mentioned when we are speaking about women abuse. Yes. Because yes. HIV men don't get sterilized. No. Why is that? They is get it? circumcised. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> why is that? They because they also yes. have um, what it takes to bring a child. Yes. So why is anything happening to them? Why is all to their right rightful? Yes. So that's what I'm saying. I don't understand why is it not classified classified as women's abuse because it's only done to women. But it is classified as a crime. So it is the ignorance and the I will call it the hiding of this crime by officials because it's a syndicate. It I, is. I remember it I went to a police station and I inquired that um, if I want to, to, to lay a charge, a, a criminal charge against a doctor and I explained to them, that gentleman said to me, sister, I've never heard of that. I don't know of wow. that. So oh. that tells you even their training is limited. It doesn't include it does not all the include eggs, all especially the, the eggs. ones that have to do with women. Yes. So that, yeah. that, that's pretty much clear that it's ignorance from our government. Even police like, don't even don't know how, don't how even to, know do how to treat issues. with it. So if yeah. I were to go and open um, a criminal charge against Dr. Edwidge or whoever, it will just, they won't know how to they classify they, they, it. They, they, they won't know what to do with it.
Dr. Aaron Mutualedi, a woman came to you to report a crime according to the Sterilization Act and you did not bother to investigate. Instead, you refer her without going through and investigating the case. Dr. Gwen, you yourself as a woman, you try to silence the woman, send her to social services, instead of investigating this possible crime that was created on her body. Dr. Bandi Lemasu, you take away the little dignity that this woman had in order to glorify yourself, make yourself feel better that your administration is doing better for a woman. Enji Mutsekha, you always refer yourself to a mother. And when you heard about this case, you did not bother. All you said was these women, it's a stunt. They want to take the name of the ANC and drag it in the mud. Today we are challenging you to come out and give these women justice. Because the same ANC that is meant to protect these women is the same ANC today that is hosting a so-called women's parliament, which is a tea party, a talk shop. Women on the ground are crying. Women on the ground are in tears. Angie Mutsekha, you need to make sure that you make right by your words. My